Ray's favorite team, but my favorite team too. And Tom, Tom's favorite team. The Houston too. Besides Las Vegas, where is your favorite place to play hockey? I mean, I gotta, uh, I gotta say St. Louis, just because that was my home for seven years. Um, if we're not going where I played, I think. I think San Jose has kind of always been my favorite away arena to play in. They're, they're loud. I like the arena. I like their uh, their power play Shark Tank thing, whatever they do. So I think I think that's uh, that would be my second favorite for sure. Greg Driven. Greg Driven said this question, following question: How much of an advantage is it being the home team in Las Vegas? I mean, it's a huge advantage because you have the Vegas Vegas crowd behind you and. Uh, you know, there's no better fans than the Vegas fans, that's for sure. I think uh, I think the whole league learned that this year, and uh, I'm gonna keep learning it this year for sure. Where, what were the playoffs like this year for you and for Vegas? It was, uh, you know, some, I think something that you you got to experience. You know, you go down to Vegas and you get into that that arena, and it's it's wild. It's a big party in there. You, you kids should get down there. I know you especially wearing that Vegas hat, you gotta get down there for a game, but um, it, it was a lot of fun. It was the most fun I've had in the playoffs, that's for sure. What is the most embarrassing thing you have ever seen on, happen on ice? <laughs> I would say uh, Patrick Berglund trying to take a slap shot. Uh, for some reason he caught nothing but ice and then uh, fell face first. Puck didn't move an inch. I, I think that's the funniest thing a lot of people see on ice. Uh, it's just me though. That, that, it's funny, you just like take a slap shot. Like, we well, tried to take a slap, it wasn't a slap shot. He, so he went to take a pretty shot. Pretty much, he went like. Yeah, like he went to shoot. His oh, stick just hit the, oh, the he ice. Lost and he just balance? No, there was no lost balance. Uh, he, he can't make any excuse. I don't know what happened. Since we tweeted, we have a lot. We have seen many different nicknames for you. What is the worst nickname you were ever given? I don't know if I've been given like a bad one, but I think my least favorite was Double R. I just, it's not very, not very original to me. I guess my coach back in the day used to call me a hot dog, so I didn't really like that one too much. I have a following question, Bob. Okay. What was your favorite nickname? That my favorite nickname? Uh, I mean, I like Revo. Revo is kind of the one that's stuck. He used to be called Moose, but now uh, Brian Elliott was Moose, so I couldn't really, couldn't really do what the is same. The strangest any goalie, you watch any goalie do anything before a game and you just don't know what's going on. It's uh, goalies are a very weird breed. Who are the songbird of your generation? That's true. But who are some of your favorite uh, I mean, I'm a big hip hop artist, fan, so you know, J. Cole is probably my favorite. Uh, you know, I gotta go back to Snoop Dogg and Biggie, that's probably a little way past your time, but uh, yeah, that's, I think those are my top three. Are you a fan of, of loud dressing music or listen, headphones listening to your own? No, no headphones. You gotta talk to the boys in the dressing room, so I, I like the music on, I like it as loud as possible. Rattling the room, you know what I mean? Will 7 5 Cam make a return this season? Absolutely. But I can't tell you who because then I'm, I'm giving up my secrets. So just pay, just watch. You'll see it come out. I'll be getting a couple of guys over. Any requests? Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite player? Favorite player? Yeah. Uh, Jordan Cairo. Jordan Cairo. Yeah. Who is your favorite player on the team? That's a dangerous one to do because you know he's going to come back at me, but I'm not scared. I'll, I'll take him home. Has Darcy Oak ever helped you with a practical joke? Yeah, he likes, uh, he likes getting. The, He's got a little like little magic things that explode if you lift something or if you, you know, you put like this little almost like firecrackers. You can put them under a toilet seat so he sits on or sits on a toilet seat. Okay. Sounds like a gunshot. Mm -hmm. so I've, I've got a couple people with that. There's a couple ones where you put it like under under like a glass or something when they lift it. Sounds like a gunshot. What joke? Yeah, it's loud. I think he got himself last week I though. Think, actually. Additional question: Who was the favorite like, with that? Like, Frank, who was the favorite, like, person that you pulled it on? I mean, the funniest one probably was, I think it was a week or two weeks ago, he put it under a drink to get me, 
and then he ended up lifting the drink and scared the crap out of him. And I, I almost had a heart attack. I was laughing so hard. But it was, uh, yeah, that one was pretty funny. What is the key to a good practical joke? Oh, the element of surprise. You can't tell any, you can't tell a bunch of people bunch of people because loose lips sink ships. You ever heard that? You know, word gets out and then he's waiting for it, so you gotta you gotta keep like, it under wraps. How you did it to focus? You want to do something unsuspecting. Yeah, well, I, you know, you, you gotta do your homework too. Phil's not, a, Phil's not a guy that really likes to be scared or uh, you know, scary movies, so you go right where, so, right where it hurts. I just got Oak from CBC run out of Embarrassing footage of you? I'm sure there's not. I'm sure there's unlimited emb embarrassing footage of me, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep it under wraps as, as good as I can because it reaches a lot of people on TV, you know? Apparently you've seen it all. What was your, what was it like to be reunited with Kelly Kenny, Kelly, Cameron in Las Vegas? Uh, it was great, you know, I think, um, you know, me and Krim have a very, very good relationship from the beginning. You know, he, he drafted me, he coached me, he was my owner and GM and Brandon. And, um, you know, I think he's kind of been a mentor for me throughout my career. So uh, being able to come back to Vegas and, and reunite with him on the same team is, is a lot of fun. And, you know, having somebody like that in your corner is always good. Oh. Is Kelly McKernan the smartest man in hockey? <laughs> the smartest man in hockey? I'm going to say, yeah, absolutely. I think he uh, he makes good decisions, and uh, me saying no would be a bad decision on my part. So yeah. Chris Lobster, Voice of the Blades, friend of the channel, sent us this question: Should fighting in the hockey be banned, or anyone who fights receive the game misconduct? Absolutely not. I think I think if you take fighting out of hockey, you're gonna have guys that are you know superstar players are gonna start getting hurt, and there's. Nobody, nobody's gonna be able to answer the bell. You know, you get somebody like me who goes, if I can catch him, runs over Connor McDavid, and he gets hurt, but nobody's gonna come over and protect him, then what? Then I can just keep running guys over like that. I actually have a question. In hockey, uh, what was your favorite fight that you had? My favorite fight? Uh, I, well, I mean, anyone that I knock somebody out, I guess would be my favorite. I got a least favorite. Uh, I mean, I'd say Brian McGrath, and I didn't feel too good after that. I don't think either one of us felt good, but I definitely didn't feel good. I can't speak for him. Your days in junior hockey predate Netflix and smartphones. How did you handle the bus rides in bus rides playing in Brandon? You guys, you ever heard of like a PSP? No, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's like a, yeah, it's like a PlayStation, but it's you, like a you, little PlayStation. Yeah, like a handheld one. It's kind of like a Game Boy. Yeah. There you go, Game Boy. So we, those just came out in junior, and we played uh, SOCOM. So you can play. It's kind of like a Call of Duty kind of game, and you play. You can connect your PSP with I think eight people, so you can play four on four, four on four, five on five, something like that. So that's kind of... My mom has a PSP and she plays Sims on it. Yeah. Talk about video games, actually. Do you play video games? What are your favorite ones? a good segue. You, you, you do well on this. Good job. Uh, my favorite video game? I'm a Call of Duty guy. Uh, I used to play a lot more. I think I've slowed down a little bit, but definitely Call of Duty. I, you know, I'll, I'll beat some guys up in some uh, NHL and some a little FIFA. Madden I can't be messing with because buttons are getting too crazy and people practice too much. If you could improve one part on of your game, what would it be? Oh man, I wish I had some better hands. I wish I was faster. I wish I could score more. What is your favorite memory of playing minor hockey? Uh, I would say... I would say high school. I think uh, you know, we won back-to-back -back provincial champions. That was the first first time that school ever won. Um, and that was kind of, when I was younger, my dream was to play for a high school team. Uh, that was just the thing I always wanted to do, and, and we ended up winning back-to-back -back years, and I think that was, um, I think that's the fondest memory from back in the day, for sure. What is the best tip you can give to a developing hockey player? Uh, I think, 
I think to a hockey player or to any athlete, I think not to let anybody tell you that you can't do something, not to let anybody say that you're not good enough. You know, I was told, I was told when I was younger when I was about to get drafted into junior that I was too slow and my feet were too big and I was never gonna, you know, was never gonna get fast enough to play hockey. And, uh, and I, you know, I proved that guy wrong. I'm not exactly sure who it was, but somebody told me that somebody said that about me. But uh, you know, people have told me that I can't do something my whole life, and uh, you know, proving them wrong is is one of the most satisfying things you can do. Is your brother Jordan a, a basketball player? Uh, is a better basketball player or football? Oh man, I mean, I, I'm going to say he's a better football player, but he was he was really good at basketball. I mean. Oh, which one? <laughs> what do you need that guy in the face? Did you see that one? No? Oh, you YouTube that. Oh, I think he like, probably like, he tried to dunk, but when he jumped, he hit him I, in the face. Yeah, some, some kid oh. came over and asked him, this was in Brandon where he used to play, he came over and asked him to, like, dunk over him, I guess. And so, he, oh, he, he put him right in front he of the hoop. Beat him. He, he went to jump and I guess he didn't get a good plant or he slipped and he caught his knee right in this kid's face. It looks so bad. It looks so bad. I was so felt so bad for him, but. Have you ever pranked Jordan? What is the best prank <laughs> you've ever played on? I mean, I've scared him a bunch of times. I think my favorite one was uh, I put a piece of tape over the door, like clear tape. He put it over the door uh, when he was showering. So then when he opened the door, he walked out and because it's clear you don't really see it so his face goes into tape. I had a good laugh. I used to have it on video but I can't find it anymore. I'm gonna try and I'll try and bring that up though. Regan Bartell voice of Cologne Rocket said to us the following question. Did you ever consider playing football over hockey? Uh I I did. I actually would say I used to like football a little bit more. Um, I'll, I'll keep this brief, but like, uh, you know, long story short, I was playing a hockey tournament when I was about to get drafted into Brandon. Um, and it was right before the football season. We were shaking hands after the game and somehow I my knee locked and I tore my PCL. And I ended up missing the whole football season. I got drafted into junior. And you know, the rest is history. I, you know, I still, I still love football. Um, I'm definitely happy with the path I took, but um, yeah, I mean, it was definitely a consideration of mine when I was younger. Yeah, I hurt myself a lot of times. Shaking hands? No, oh, but okay. what is your favorite CFL team? Well, the Rough Riders, <laughs> of course. <laughs> that's an easy one. What is your favorite NFL team? Raiders, and that's not even because they're in Las Vegas now, that's... Uh, what are you shaking your head for? No? Green Bay. Yeah. I don't know how good Green Bay is going to be this year. What is the best advice your father ever gave you about playing sports? Oh, you know, I think the biggest thing I got from my dad was how to handle myself uh, with fans and with kids and, you know, how to be respectful uh, around the community. I think I saw him the way he handled himself when people come up to him and talk to him, you know, in public places, around his work, I think that's something that I kind of brought with me. Because, you know, fans are, fans are your lifeline. You need, you need fans to, to survive in any sport. And, um, you know, he was, he was a fan favorite in Winnipeg, and I, I try and take after that. How do you think the Raiders will do next year in Vegas? I mean, I'm going to say Super Bowl champs. You got to look at that roster. They sound like a Super Bowl team. Tell you the pack definitely ain't winning it. Do you like coffee or energy drinks? Ooh. Oh man, I mean I'm not a big fan of either. Definitely not coffee. And I I drink energy drinks before games, I guess, but um, I'm not a huge fan of either. It's okay. Have you ever been to the original packing house down in the forest? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, there. I think I've been to a original pancake house. I don't know about the one before, so. Is it good? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. My dad bet me for $50 to eat all the pancakes that I did. Yeah? So I like $50. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. How many pancakes? It was like 15. 15 pancakes you ate?
Our mom mentioned going to Vegas for her 40th birthday. Where should we take her? Oh man, I mean, walk the strip with her for sure. You know, the strip is a very busy place, but it's, it's a lot of a lot of things to see. Go watch the uh, the Bellagio show. Um, there's a million restaurants you can go see. I don't I don't even know where to start. Who is your favorite athlete? My favorite athlete? Well, I think I, it would be my brother. Yeah. My favorite athlete would probably be Kobe Bryant, Michael. I was going to say Michael James, but Michael Jordan, LeBron James, or Kyrie. Kyrie? Kyrie's nice. I don't have a favorite player. No? Can I be your favorite player? Okay. My man. I'm yeah. YouTuber Netflix. YouTuber Netflix? Uh, Netflix. Thank you for your, well, thank you for your time. Yeah. Any thoughts? Thanks fellas, nice to meet you.